Okay, welcome back. So, I didn't realize it until I went to um, start up the titanium, or the, uh, not the titanium, um, the, the babonium chunk into uh, babonium crystals. Apparently, um, Or no, the not the not that. Um, the crystals into titanium specifically. Or uh, no, not sorry, I'm getting all mixed up here. Um, the cobalt specifically. In order to do the crystals, we need an ore sorting facility four which means that we need titanium, which is right here, which we have a little bit of, but not very much. Um, let's go ahead. So we need titanium. Titanium processing. Let's go ahead and get that started. So in order to build these ore processing or ore sorting facility fours, we need the ore sorting facility three, reinforced concrete brick, titanium plates, and titanium gear wheels, as well as electronic logic boards. Now, I spent some time getting everything set up so that we could kind of go through this without too many issues. It, it just takes so long. There's so much little stuff that you have to do in order to get this working. So the most, most obvious thing that you need for these is the superior circuit boards. Now, superior circuit boards, um, I set up a little area right here to get these started. Um, so these guys require copper plates, silver plates, fiberglass boards, and ferric chloride solution. Now we all we're already producing ferric chloride solution. Um, over here, is this it? Ferric chloride solution. Get where exactly we're making it. It's over here. So these things. Um, copper plates and silver plates we obviously already had. Um, and then the fiberglass boards were the big thing. That were being a little tricky to make. So in order to make fiberglass boards. You have to do... A number of things and that's why this why it takes so long to make this stuff because there's so much little thing and so many little things that you need to start making um so first you need glass mixture there's two different kinds um the level one and then the level two to which um let me see if i can find it um so glass mixture two requires powder mixer twos or higher um we'll probably switch over because we do have the resources for it um, so let's go ahead and get stuff hooked up here. Why, why would you pick up the thing that you don't need? Why does that make sense to you? <laughs> okay. 
So we need these guys set up now. This will produce molten glass, which will get funneled over to here, which will create glass fiber. And then we will turn glass fiber and liquid resin into the into the fiberglass boards that we require. Now, liquid resin is a whole process in of itself. Um, we go ahead and start getting that hooked up. So I believe that's something that we do need. These um, these green metal catalyst. Now we need metal catalyst uh, shells or whatever they're called um, before it will start working. We need the red catalyst, which we are producing over this way someplace right here. I apparently also need more electric poles. Are we producing the metal catalyst again? Right here. Okay, so metal catalysts just require um, iron plates. Those will get shipped up to where we're producing the Yeah, okay. I, I was really confused for a second because this was all iron ore, but no. This is going to dump the metal catalyst onto this line. This will start feeding them. Now, the red catalysts require a metal catalyst thing and copper ore and iron ore. So that should produce pretty quickly. Um... Now, the the red metal catalyst will come to here, which is where we're producing producing um, your uh, ammonia gas. So ammonia requires nitrogen and hydrogen, which we are producing hydrogen over here, as well as nitrogen, which we're producing um, up here. Now, if we need to adjust things, we will. It's gonna take a little while for these uh, red metal catalysts to show up. And they will produce ammonia gas as well as the metal catalyst carrier, which we will dump onto this line. Should probably make sure that these offsets are applied. Now these, the um, metal catalyst will cycle back over this way. They won't be going back to the red catalyst area although i might change that later they will be coming over here to the green metal catalyst which requires aluminum ore and silver ore so we have aluminum from over here that i just uh siphoned off and then the silver is not too far away from the only problem with having so many undergrounds is it's a lot harder to keep track of where things are. Or where things are going. 
Um, so yeah, the silver is just leached off from over here where we're doing the silver production. Um, so once this thing starts uh, flowing, the green catalyst will start flowing back this way, uh, which is what we kind of need in order to produce the liquid resin. So let's go ahead. Get things connected up. So this. So the green catalyst will do two things. They will one feed these chemical plants which require carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas um, to create methanol gas, which will come down to here, as well as the another uh, line of green metal catalyst to create, like uh, things are starting to move, excellent. Um, do you need to Sorry, I needed to get that done. Um, so let's grab some of these metal catalysts and where are we doing these? Yeah, again, this is this is the annoying part is trying to figure out where these things are uh, up here. So, um, this will create formaldehyde gas, which is something that we require to um, to create the thing that we need. So. In here, we need ammonia gas and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, we're producing, I think that's the, the food, or not the food, the wood pellets. And those are, like, traveling in a pipe somewhere to get over here. So... And that will produce urea gas. Now, once we have both urea gas and uh, methanol or formaldehyde, uh, we can now produce liquid resin. Once we have liquid liquid resin. Um, we okay. um, that's not something we can do right now. Uh, let's look up titanium again. Start processing that. Okay, so now that we have liquid resin. We should see if we're if we come up this way, wherever it might be. Once we have actual power hooked up. Uh, 
what what else does this require? Oh, right. That's not the actual final step. The um these boards is what it's producing. So there's not really not a lot of liquid resin just yet. Um, we things will you know improve as we get more and more of these uh, um, metal catalyst carriers, or I think that's what they were called. Looks like we don't have enough hydrogen. Interesting. Probably do need more water. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have enough uh, hydrogen at all. Do we have any more electrolyzers on us? Yes. Go ahead and just get this set up so that we use a little more uh, hydrogen. Not very much hydrogen, but we could always set up more of these. Might not be a bad idea to do. I don't know, maybe we just don't have enough uh, water pumps? Though it seems like the water is st stable-ish. I mean, we could always add more water pumps. But for right now, let's just worry about um, let's worry about trying to get this titanium figured out. So um, we just unlocked some new stuff. So, in order to make titanium, it's going to be a bit of a pain, as per usual. Let's uh, go ahead and look up titanium. So we are producing titanium over here, um, so that makes me think that we should probably continue sort of doing titanium related stuff over here. Hardly any inventory space right now. Um, I really wish I don't think I have anything that would uh, pick up green circuit boards at all so it looks like I'm just gonna have to manually go and dump some of it all right so we have some titanium stored up not very much though so we're just we're not looking for like a permit setup here. We're primarily looking for a temporary thing that we can um, get our titanium, not chemical plants. Uh, now we're producing some. Let's 
somewhere. Supposedly. It's a lot of chemical plants. Or chemical furnaces. Okay. So we need... Honestly, two is probably enough for right now. So... Carbon, chlorine gas, and titanium. Um, you don't really need blue belts for this, I don't think. So we need carbon, which we do have some carbon. I think we have some over here. Yes. I do really like it when we already have stuff close by. Um... That noise, the uh, the drone hubs. So that's kind of weird. All right, let's go ahead. We're just going to two separate rows. So we need to figure out how to get chlorine gas into these. First, we need to figure out how to actually make chlorine gas, because I don't really know. Chlorine, saline. So it looks like we might be already making some chlorine gas. It's like over here, but I doubt... This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I can already, I can already tell. Um, saline water. Are we making saline water? Do we have like any large amount of saline water? That we're not using for anything else. Um. saline water oh actually it looks like we might be making chlorine already excellent that's actually really good um we do need to be careful though so there's a lot of other things traveling through this area Did I just destroy? 
Did I destroy a drone hub? I don't know what I just did. Uh... Yeah, it must have been a drone hub. Um... So we need some of this into containers. And now we need to not chemical plants, uh, it's chemical furnaces. Now, I'm not sure how long it takes for this to produce. Um, eight seconds for 120. Need 120 of this every six seconds. This was eight seconds. So it looks like a if we had four of these things, we would need uh, three of the other ones. So we're just going to go with one for right now. Again, this is still a temporary solution. Especially since we don't really have a whole lot of titanium. Problem is, is that this stupid mineral sludge is... Such a pain to make. Okay, so we are now producing the titanium sponge. Um, so in order to actually make titanium, we need to put this into a blast furnace. Which we might want to just do like over here or something. Down here. Don't want the wood. Take it. Take it over there. God, I hate, I hate that they keep... Stop giving me... So annoying. Alright, we need blast furnaces. Um, maybe for right now we just stick with the one. Um, I don't know if it's necessary to balance it. Oh, we're going to need some fuel for this. Uh, that's not too big of a deal. We do have carbon over here. So we can... Just do something like that. Steam Engine 4 is done. Um, fluid handling, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how much uh, more you can really get. Alright. Titanium. Okay, so in order to actually make titanium that we need, we will need an induction furnace. And then we will need some casting machines. Put 
12 titanium every four seconds. This produces 24. So it looks like uh, we should be fine to do two of these. Let's go ahead and just do fast inserters. Now again, this is a very temporary thing. We're not planning on using this forever. Um, once we get an actual setup, setup for uh, cobalt and eventually titanium smelting, um, we'll change things around a little. So, um, I do want to like get this started before we call it a part. So in order to make titanium, we need 40 molten titanium every four seconds. This will produce 120. So two of them, 240 every four seconds, which means that it should be good to have six of these. So uh, why don't we go ahead and just do just do a balance. Okay, nothing significant. Okay, and I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead, get this powered up. Um, and okay, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.